this is pretty much how I do slow mo without Twixter. Alright, so you have your clip, and yeah, pretty much just make a new project, drag your clip in, make sure it's the clip you want, and do a little watch through it. So you have the idea of where you want to slow mo it. Yeah. So like pretty much freeze it where you think it's gonna look good or like uh and this is how some people would do it maybe. Yeah. So yeah. This is pretty much how you do it. Yeah, so you pretty much just wanna scrub through to where you want to slow mo it. Then you stop, press S to split it. Now go into properties. Go playback rate, put this to half. This will make it um, half the speed, half the frame rate. That, that will slow it down to 50%, as you just saw. And then to do the sound, you go into classic. No, not if not a classic. A classic. Oh, I just skip out of that. Classic. Don't mind my phone. And then you want to double the number that's there. Here. See if I can whoop doop and then lock to stretch and this will make it um, the pitch that's suitable for the slow-mo. And that's pretty much how you do it. Except this is the main feature. You go properties, make sure the unsample rate for the clip that is not slow mode is 0.5. Now you'll only be able to tell this when you render it, but it actually makes the frame stop blending over. So you render it, make sure you render to the um, a higher HD quality, but make sure it's not 60 frames a second. That is the real key feature to this. So you go customize template, go high definition, this will still keep it um, a good sort of quality and make sure it's 29.970 NTSC frame rate. Yeah, and then I'll just be back when that's rendered.